Uh, hey, Laurie, welcome to Rick and Bubba. Thanks for listening to Z93. What's going on? Hi. Um, well, you know, I just wondered if you guys had heard about and what your take was on that woman that's supposedly from Alabama that joined ISIS yep. uh, several years back, and she has a kid now. She married three different guys in the ISIS army, and now she wants to come home. And they're trying to make, and she was young. She's only like 19, but they're trying to make it that, you know, she was enticed online and now she regrets it. And yeah, the, uh, back the, and all this. Yeah, we have an update on that. According, uh, we did we did talk about that story, Laurie. Thanks for bringing it up. And we even had someone who called. Not we don't know the truth of this, but the person claimed that they actually went to high school with her, uh, and she she had these feelings of anti America and all of that, uh, you know, and, and that's why she wanted to leave. So she is certainly, uh, it seems, regretting that decision. As I would, I would guess, we think we don't Rick, know. Rick, she she actually put it was on Twitter, I believe, for people to go on drive-bys and spill blood. Right. While she was here. Right. So um, she obviously has some hatred toward Western civilization for whatever reason. Um, but uh, the the State Department has revoked her citizenship. She cannot come back. Yeah, that, that request as of right now has been denied, and and I, I understand that we all should be open to redemption and, and grace and mercy uh, on a spiritual standpoint, but on an earthly standpoint, there are consequences to decisions because in all fairness, if I'm at the State Department, why, what, what, why am I supposed to believe? Now, I could certainly see how a young person would make a, a mistake and gets there, and now men are passing you around, and when your husband gets killed, you get passed to another guy, and they're all they're having babies and all this, and you're like, "Hey, this was not what I I don't know what you thought it would be, but yeah. you know, it, it just yeah. a little bit of research on the plight of women under yeah. Sharia law should be enough to go. Eh, as bad as it is here, you think, in your point of view, it, it it could be worse. But how do we know that she's not just completely radicalized, and this is a ploy? Yeah. For her to come back into our country and commit some kind of terrorist act. Now, yeah. some of you may be saying, oh, Rick, now that's mean. I, I don't know what her motives are. And, and and if I'm at the State Department, and I certainly my heart breaks for her family, my heart breaks for people who love her, uh, and I'm, I, I know they want an opportunity to reconcile their relationships with her, and I certainly would, would love for that to be able to take place. But I also have to put on the shoes of the State Department and look at this and go, now, how do we, what do we know what to believe? You. You were radicalized. You said death by to, your own words. Yeah, you said death to America. You went and joined ISIS. You called for, like Bubba said, you know, drive-by shootings and death to Americans. Now you're saying, hey, I, I was kind of young and dumb, and and now I want to come back to America. Then that's not going to be a simple process, and and sadly, rightfully so, you know, because now. The State Department's got to think about the well-being of, yeah. of, of of the citizens of this country. Well, it's treason to begin with, right? Uh, which you could be charged with. And second, how do we know that you're not uh, still radicalized and just coming back as a plant right. here, as a spy, someone who's going to come and radicalize other people or come and commit acts of terror? We don't. I mean, we by your own words, your own actions, you're an enemy combatant right now. So, yeah. Um, it, it appears that, uh, and again, I, I do feel for the family, Rick. Sure. Uh, I understand that sure. um, completely. But as it has been pointed out, the, the family seems to be gearing up with legal representation, uh, expecting her to face a criminal trial. But the problem is you're talking about war crimes here. Mm. So that's a whole different thing, a whole different set of rules. That's a little different than I was a runaway and now I want to come yeah. home. Yeah. Would y'all be okay with um, – Gaining citizenship back, but imprisonment. So your so family has access to her on you know those kind of things here in the states, and and we just she's in jail for however probably her life. Uh, but I think that would even be a better situation than the current situation she's in. So I guess uh, to Bubba's point, I guess what, we would put her in jail for treason. Is that, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. We, they, what do you do with the child then? Well, there, and there, is there just one? Uh, yeah. yeah, one. Okay. I think. So with that, yeah. but give, you boy, can give the child the to the family. Yeah. yeah. But, 